Uh, evening everyone, so just wanted to jump on and do a quick live. Uh, I'm just staying in a hotel in Winchester, so I thought I'd use the little chair in the room and uh, talk about something that's actually really, really serious. So it's kind of indirectly linked to kind of weight loss and fitness, but I was uh, listening to an audio book on the way down this morning and it's called 12 Rules for Life by Jordan B. Peterson, uh, An Antidote to Chaos. And he started to, in one of the chapters. He started to talk about um, how we need to stop comparing ourselves to others. Or in fact, we need to stop trying to be other people. And it's kind of the thing that prompted me to jump on and talk about was yet another person who was trying to strive for kind of Instagram fame and social media fame has taken his life. So um, kind of Mike from Love Island killed themselves a couple of days ago. And it's just kind of like the the rate of suicide, particularly in young males, is sky high. And kind of we we constantly strive to be more like someone else, but the harsh reality is there's always going to be someone better looking than us, richer than us, more successful than us. There's always going to be someone who um, has more likes on social media. There's always going to be someone that's faster than us. And if we keep trying to be them, then we we're setting ourselves up for failure. And the fact is. We can't be anyone else. The only person we can legitimately compete with is ourselves. And as long as we, we try and be better than we were yesterday, and we try and be better tomorrow, then we're on the right track. Uh, the fact of the matter is, like, if we're trying to strive for something that's unattainable, the only thing we're going to get is misery. So what can you do about that? I would say, first of all, please just stop trying to be someone else. Stop looking at the person in the gym is lifting more or has got lower body fat, or who's running faster than you, or who's lost more weight. Let's say you're, you are you go to one of the weight loss clubs and someone's lost four pound. You don't, uh, they've lost four pound a week or seven pound a week. You've lost a pound, you might not have lost anything. You're not them, you don't know what their life is. They might have just suddenly gone low carb and lost loads of water weight. You shouldn't try and be them. As long as you've lost a pound, it's great. Stop comparing your results and your progress to someone else. So I suppose the, the main thing is what is, what can you do today that will make yourselves better tomorrow. Now that first thing might be stop following people that on social media that up that upset you or make you feel bad or insecure. Just delete them. Maybe that's what you do tonight. Just go through and just have a social media purge. Hopefully most of you that are my friends will still be friends tomorrow. You're not going to delete me. Um, but yeah, just get rid of people that make you feel bad. Stop trying to be someone else that you can never be and start to concentrate on you. Now comparison's great, comparison um, to benchmark is great, but com compare yourselves to know how you can improve yourself, not how you can be someone else. So, um, and then off the back, maybe you do a social media purge, but then what is, what's one thing that you can do tonight that makes you, takes you one step towards your goal? One step closer is one step closer. It doesn't matter on the size of your journey, just, just move forward and keep moving forward and become the better you. Um, and if you do that, the world's gonna be a better place. Stop trying to be someone else and please just, and if there's someone that needs help, then reach out to them. If anyone, any of my friends are in this situation that want to talk to me, my number's always here and you can always reach out. But that's my message. Sorry for the sombre start to a Monday, but I think it needed to be said. Uh, I look forward to hearing what your thoughts are in the comments. So yeah, ciao for now guys and see you soon.